right at the entrance from the train station which is just behind that building you can see the lines over there so anyway just walk out turn right in 10 meters and there is a first thing to see is a viking ship draw cars boats was carrying vikings to conquering the new land or taking away women's and first um, what can i say about the going to Viborg? the the train was full we cannot manage to get a seat so we were standing for one hour 15 minutes uh, to avoid that you should come to a train station at uh, площад Ленина метро station fin Finsky Vauxhall uh, you, should, you should be there half an hour before the train goes or you'll have to stand there and it was very crowded so today our episode from Viborg it's nearby the St. Petersburg closer to a border with Finland and the city of Viborg before he was like a Finn city Finland city it belongs to Finland but later it became uh, Peter the first one of the conquered cities not a conquered but like please give it to me okay here you go take it or no I'm not too good at history but it was Finn but now it's Russian you can take a good trip around within one day stay with us stay with us stay with us and enjoy your virtual tour and prepare yourself to a real one Just take a look around this. Ponka saying it's it, it doesn't look like a park and it's not. Well, after 25 minutes of walking, we've me and Ponka come to a conclusion. Don't take a walk. Take a bus, a cab or a boat. That's much more better. <laughs> And another upsetting episode that's why you need to google before you go uh, it's uh, the ticket line a ticket line now Monrepo comparing to the other parks is more like a forest with uh, the walk roads you know uh, not like a park in St. Petersburg with everything is with the hand of civilization here it's more like a nature park with hills going up going down stones around the area and you now it's kind of hard i must say whoa i already tired as you can see this is a this is an island so i wish i could get there but i can't the only way is to rent a boat also as i was saying in the beginning because there's that type of boats they go from the city center right here you can rent one and they can take you to the islands to the other shore so i think Viborg is the definitely a place where you should use a boat at any point i think it's the wildest park i've seen in russia except i mean the really forest this is technically a park you pay for an entrance and there is facilities inside if you if you ever wanted to go to Korea for uh, camping you can try out the nature and the views right here in Monrepo came over for a few hours walk around it and if you'll enjoy it's one of the best adventures you can ever may, probably have this is my favorite kayaking I, lo I love it I really like being here but today too many people might think I think so try to pick another weekend to so enter the forest zone with echo trip we find a toxic mushroom be careful with it it can bring you a lot of joy or it can make you feel bad 
press the heart button subscribe our channel and please ask something or give us an advice so we didn't cover all the territory of the park because it's quite big and it's you know it's biggest part of it is kind of forest so it's just a matter of time you are you're able to spend here and we need to take a walk in the center before the sunset and go back to st petersburg that's why we did not make the fully you know covering walkout but we like in here When you get from a monorepo, you can get to this memory pole. It's almost at the exit from the park. And straight away there is a, a bridge and, a, and a, like a tunnel, small tunnel, an arc, to, I think, what leads us to the, to the castle. And we're on the go. Now we'll take a walk in front of this castle and take a look at the embankment and the city center. If you are in Viborg, you want to swim, and if you are thinking where to do it in the best way, then do it over there. So let's take a look. So, so you should understand that the city center is from here till that place so it's less than a kilometer of walking Viborg is a tiny city very very small city and here's the entrance to the castle now usually it it costs some money but today the museum is free to go so this sign says that all the tickets uh, to the highest po post is uh, sell and there's a line so we not only cannot buy the ticket we also cannot wait in the line because we're really short of time but uh, if you'll go up there please just please just Send me a video or a photo on what it's look like from the top of a tower from Viborg. <laughs> I think uh, it's possible to walk around all the Viborg in 45 minutes, one hour. If with the park, two hours. But if you'll be in rush and use the cab as a transport, or if you'll take a boat for three hours you can like run all the city around in an atmosphere the city is great it's very small and looks like there is only tourists on the street if you come to Viborg with no prepare yourself like just take some money and some time you'll be cool with it you'll just walk around every time you'll step into something interesting you can google right there what is it what it's like if you're interested if you're not keep on walking and you cannot miss anything here Viborg remind me of a days where there's no coronavirus. So many people in, in, in a small like, distance from each other. Wow, it's one of the most popular places here. It's a clock tower. We'll get to it soon enough, but not now. This is an old cathedral. It's uh, been built in 15th century, but later he got broke down, then re-established, broke down, re-established, broke down. In the end, uh, he'll get burned down at the World War uh, II. And after that, he won't get restored, so 
he kept his form like this. Uh, interesting fact about Viborg, uh, sea saving place, a monument every 10 seconds here. So anywhere you look, because it's a very small city, there is a, a few things to take a look at. And one really amazing thing, and I decided to take a walk to it. It's the oldest living house in Russia, it's somewhere nearby. I'm using a, another telephone as a map and we'll find it in a few seconds. It doesn't matter that the city is quite small. There is big shops, normal shops, you can buy anything you need, any products, maybe even clothes. So don't be a warrior and don't afraid that it's kind of a village and it's like no civilization here. Absolutely normal city, just ancient and beautiful. We will get a detective and looks like this is the oldest living house in Russia. And there is even kind of a little souvenir shop. You can get something and just leave some money in the box. So there is a, you can buy it and put some money over here. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. And that is what I suppose is a city hall, city hall tower, Ratos. We should spend a little bit more time in Viborg, but our mission was to show it that to you that it's a city worth the visit. Oh, it's a filming set. Let's go take a look. And there is a actors so it gotta be a movie so they're making the tv serial of uh, and tv channel it's a criminal tv serial uh, somebody will be arrested and you know it's a uh, crappy film so um and that was a tower like a defense defensive one but later it become uh, a kind of a market so there is a few shops inside yeah, this is the end of our episode, so please subscribe our channel, press the heart button, ask something in the commentary, and please support us, because we need you. Press the heart button, subscribe about channel, <laughs> support us, please. Oh. Our trip to Viborg has come to an end. It was very short, and I have two things to say. Uh, first. I've built too many, uh, you know, expectations from this city, from this Monrepo Park, and I was uh, getting myself uh, more and more expecting like real treasure, and uh, in the end, I did not get what I've expected. But I also realized that it's my mistake that I've put myself into the position that the city got to be like uh, way too good, and it is amazing. Just take a look at this small city you can walk through it for 10 minutes uh, with uh, cozy streets nice uh, restaurants uh, friendly people uh, and uh, no traffic why not thank you stay with us and go to Russia